Some of the crowd on hand here at the Portland Sports Arena, 8725 North Chautauqua in Keisha. Have not been out here yet and going to come out soon. Sure hope you do it. I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to. When uh, the champ is here going against the Playboy, and then early in October, about second week in October, Rowdy Roddy Piper coming to the Northwest. Incidentally, that uh, when the champ is here for at least one of those days, and maybe in a couple of places, Buzz Sawyer will be here teaming with Hacksaw. This Saturday night, September 25th, Hack Sawyer will be going against uh, um, Rip Oliver to revenge what he did to him last Saturday night. That will be this Saturday, the 25th. Introducing in this corner at 240 pounds from Florida, Rip Oliver. His opponent in this corner at 230 pounds from San Francisco, Steve Pardee. Non title bout. There's Steve Pardee, who I understand is a pretty good kicker of the football. More on that in a moment. Rip Oliver wearing both of his titles. He's the Northwest heavyweight champ, and along with the Blavitsky assassin, yes, the assassin, he is one half of the tag team champions of the Pacific Northwest. Steve Pardee, who I uh, understand doing some kicking outside, uh, out in the football field before the match is down at Eugene last night. Eugene alumni down there. Good friend Elton Owen said, hey kid, you kick pretty good. He wants, to, he wants to check with Rich Brooks. See if he's got any more scholarships. See if Pardee's got any more eligibility. I guess he was putting them through the uprights uh, with great regularity at about 40 yards. Most athletes, most uh, wrestlers you will find are good athletes, not, not only wrestlers. Consulting referee Irene at ringside, not too happy with our current holder of the championships, as you might have been able to tell by that neat close-up shot. They lock up and break loose. And again, Steve Party from San Francisco, California. Red Bastine got him started in wrestling. Whoa, on drag slam. Oliver goes flying. The Crippler, Ripper the Crippler, getting in a couple of wild ones this week. Down at Salem, he got involved in one Thursday night, Friday night. I guess they almost tore the building down. Last night in Eugene. Well, later on tonight, Hacksaw Sawyer will start on the road to revenge against Oliver and the Assassin, particularly. The Assassin cutting him while Oliver held him last week. He gets the Assassin tonight that will not be on television. Quite probably at the insistence of Hack, who said, I don't want any time limit on that. She really wants to get at him. A week from tonight, he'll go after Oliver, who we see right here. And then on the 28th, Hack and Buzz will team against the Assassin and Oliver, and it'll be World War III. Steve Party muscling Oliver to the takedown. One, two, and that's all.
Sandy Barr is supposed to be around. He uh, was in the hospital for a few days a week ago. But I understood he was pretty active again. Incidentally, I spent the day uh, Wednesday, a long day, I might add, at Emmanuel, and I uh, want to thank all the people there for the excellent treatment. Armbar being put on by Steve Party. Oh, I just got a line from the bus and I can't do a thing with it. They must have just washed it. Armbar. Party working on it. Into the ropes. Underneath midair and body slam. Body throw. Oliver kicked off as he comes around. Hardy catches Oliver and slams him to the canvas. Side headlock. Good toss to the man. Steve Party with a hold. This is the best two out of three falls. Tickets for next Saturday will be available by calling tomorrow, 289-4222. Or better still, by coming out to the flea market right here in this same building. Go to the concession stand, buy your tickets for next Saturday. Tickets for the 28th will not be available until next weekend. I think we got just about everything covered at least once, except as our director said, it's worth repeating. Get the kids and children off the, the kids and children. Get the women and 